Jason Vale is best known for his juicing with several Hollywood stars amongst his fans. He's just released his new book. It's called Super Fast Food, No Chef Required. And he's cooking for us today. I love this in here, Jason. It says, no more Mr. Flaky. No more Mr. Flaky Wheezy Fat Boy. Were you a Flaky Wheezy Fat I Boy? I was a Flaky Wheezy Fat Boy, yeah. Oh. I was covered from head to foot in psoriasis. What I had think? severe asthma, eczema, hay fever. I was a heavy smoker, right. heavy drinker, and I was also very heavy as well. Right. Uh, story's been well recorded over the years. Turned my life around with the power of genuine nutrition. Yeah. Usually through the power of juicing. As sure. you probably know, I'm more well known for juicing. Yeah. But of course, you cannot live on juice alone. No, indeed. And why would you? <laughs> and, and, and also, what do we do after? The people have asked me for 20 years I've been doing this now, Lorraine. What do we do after a juice diet? And that's, that's what the premise of the book is. Seven day plans in there and, and, and all the great staples, the classics. There isn't a classic you can't make. Well, that's really. what you're doing today. Yeah, you're what, doing pizza today, aren't we're you? We're doing pizza. Healthy no, it's pizza. really weird as well. Here's the weirdness. I can't try any of this today because I'm currently doing a global <laughs> juicing Thing. There's 50,000 of us in, a, in 100 countries, all juicing for five days. Right. So here I'm on day four. You so can eat. But you'll be eating oh, this I'll one. Eat yours. And I'll be trying this on Saturday. <laughs> okay. So hopefully everybody else will as well. Look, yeah. let's get to it. We haven't got a lot of time. This is a no dough halloumi pizza. Okay. So, so no dough, how do we make the dough without yeah. the flour? Gluten free. Little trick here cashew nuts. Yep. Yeah. Oats, a little bit of salt and pepper. All we've done, put that in a blender. Okay. That's all we've done, and we've made the flour. Ooh. Next step, add some moisture to get the binding together. Parsnips, really odd ingredient. Oh, but all I you love do is parsnips. you grate the parsnip. Right. Add the parsnip in, and it's already very moist. Add those in together. I thought that was cheese. I know, it's no, it's not it? cheese. It's parsnip, <laughs> loaded in particular. Okay. Rich in potassium, yes, manganese, magnesium, also has vitamins B, it's got vitamin C, it's got vitamin K, all of these things, but of course, gluten-free. Yeah, so you just good. make it, get all that moisture together, right. and effectively, which is nice, because I know we haven't got a great, great deal of time, put that to one side, because what you'll end up with are some little balls. You put them into four mini balls, right. essentially. Yeah. So here we are. So we've got a little mini ball there, and all we do then is roll that out. Right. So we roll that out and you end up effectively with two pizza bases. Oh. Well, you end up with four in the recipe. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Put that in the oven, 15 minutes. While that is going on, while that's rocking and rolling, you make the sauce. The sauce right, okay. is ridiculous. You'll <laughs> taste this here. I know you should underplay it and over-deliver. <laughs> Sun-dried tomatoes, a little bit of basil. You've got the, uh, the piece de resistance of, of health, I call it. Garlic is so good for you. Sure. Uh, tomatoes going in. Bit of balsamic vinegar just to give it a lift. Okay. Blend all that together. And then all we do is we put this, on. this uh, and good. all we do right. is we just, and, and again, you know, the whole, the whole book's about no chef required. I'm not a chef, I'm not a cook, and the idea is real food for real people, and you want to make it as rustic as you can. That's the key right. thing here. Okay. People play the perfection game. What's nice as well, you don't need any weird ingredients from just some Notting Hill, you know, whatever, just normal. Nobody's got the time. Normal the ingredients, the you just place those on top. A few pine nuts on top. That goes in the oven. Right. That's all it does. We put that in the oven there. And then what we do is, once that comes out... Oh, that's so pretty. It's so pretty. And then what we do is we dress it with of some course. more of the basil going on. And we pretty that up. Um, and it's just extraordinary. Well, I'm going to hand that over to you. Thank you. Now, Beautiful. you need a knife and, knife and fork. Thank you, honey. Now, the whole thing, start to finish... Thank you. ...takes 25 minutes. 25 minutes? The key thing, Lorraine, yeah. is that when Oops. the second stage... Yeah. When, are you going to try and pick it like a proper well, pizza? Yeah, Go I on. Think, I think you have to. I think you have to. I'm going to have a bit of cheese. If you're going to do it, do it, mm. do it properly. Mm. It is ridiculously nice. Mm. One, I know, it's silly, isn't it? That's I know really good. Should, it's really good. Mm. And actually, that's not as hot as it should be because, of course, that's one we made earlier. Mm. Um, but once you have the heat in there... And also, you make the sauce okay. while that's going on. Like, mm. so it's meant to be superfood but made fast. Super fast food, and that's the key. There isn't a recipe, though, you can't make... You can't super fast food up, in other mm. words. Whether it's a curry, whether it's pasta, there's always a healthy version to be had. This is and really good. that, on a Sunday night, in front of the TV, Lorraine, sit down, <gasps> and it's no out. hassle. Mm. In fact, I would argue it's probably quicker to do that ultimately than even if you pick up the phone, you order <laughs> one of those other pizzas. You, because normally after you've eaten a pizza, you feel bad. You feel like, oh, why have I done mm. that? Here, in fact, one of those mini ones, because it's so satiating, actually, it fills <gasps> satiating, you. Satiating, I like it's that It's a great word. word. First I'm going to use imagine that Imagine that, this day. time of the morning, using mm. satiating. Mm, mm, mm. Fills you up. And also the oats. It's mm. like putting on little food patches. Great for lunch. Great. Really, really good. Love that. Absolutely brilliant. Really filling, as you said.
Fantastic. Thank you, Jason. That's all right. Always a pleasure.